Bébiscide Dieu Dieu. Alléluia, Alléluia. Oh yes. Ya stir up Dieu Dieu. Do you ever think about him, Israel? If we had a certain amount of money, or if we had a diamond, we would check on it. If we look to see if it was there, we would smile. But there's one more precious than any material thing that you could ever gain. And it's Saba Yahweh. Do you think about him, Israel? For Israel, knowing that in that sin, he reached down and pulled us out and made us a people, his elect, by his own choosing, Israel. Do you think about him, Israel? For if you think about him, it's going to show, Israel. People are going to know that there's something different about you, Israel. In your talk, in your walk, there will be a glow about you that the people don't understand, Israel. Do you think about Abba Yahweh tonight, Israel? Let us look at this definition, think. It says to remember, to remember always, Israel. Every time we wake up, Israel, it is not by our own doing. We will be called the mercy of Abba Yahweh. As we go through the day, Israel, do you think about him? To tell him to order your steps. Are there any situation come your way that you will say the right thing according to Yah's Torah, Israel? Because the enemy is busy, Israel. And we proclaiming to be Israel. We got to stand. No compromising. It ain't no in between. It's either we are for y'all or we're not for y'all, Israel. Do you think about them, Israel? It says this word think, the definition to remember always, to recall. Do you ever talk to him, Israel? Call to mind, to call to remember. Do you remember of what he did for you? Of what well, he gave his very best? His son, Yahshua Hamashiach. He's thinking of you right now, Israel. Look how he kept us to be into the body one more time. The use of our limbs, Israel. Oh, Israel, what a mighty Abba we serve. To make a memorial, and we have a memorial. Do you have the testimony tonight, Israel? Be mindful, recount a record in the mind, a plan, esteem and calculate event, make a judgment in the image and count, Israel. Knowing, Israel, the mighty name of Abba Yahweh. At all times, Israel. We should be ready to give his name to praise. Not just on the outside, but when we come into the buy-in, it should be no problem for us to lift up our voice and move our feet, Israel, and sing unto y'all, honor, Israel. We should be wanting to, knowing that we have a mighty Abba that loves us so dearly and showed us by his precious son, Yahshua, how much she is, Israel. Oh, we should... Sing and let our voice ring to the mountaintop, Israel. For Yahweh want the praises of you, Israel. It says in First Baruch 2 and 32, it said, They shall praise me in the land of their captivity. He letting us know, Israel, that no matter whatever we going through, that he'll see us through. We should praise him for the good time. We should praise him for the tough time. We should praise him for the bad times as well, Israel. For Israel, we question Almighty Yahweh. 
we ask him why, Israel. We tell him, Israel, that why is it me? Yah is in control of all things, Israel. And think upon my mighty name. And we should always think upon Abba Yahweh's mighty name, Israel. Where is our strength within his son, Yahshua Hamashir? Do you think about him, Israel? Because he wanted people to have their mind continually on him. Not of the situations, not of the things of this life, but of Abba Yahweh. Matthew 5 and 17. It says, Think not that I come to destroy the Torah. Why, Israel? It goes on to say, Ah, the prophets. Because Israel, he's going to let them fill their cup up, Israel. And he's going to get vengeance on them. But then it goes on to say, Father, I'm not come to destroy, but to fulfill. But to fulfill in who? You is Israel. You is the witness unto his Torah, Israel. In Israel, to be a witness, something got to be in us, Israel. In Israel, we cannot be ashamed to speak it, Israel, or to walk it. And we cannot be ashamed to be that light that Yah have called us to be. Israel. But we got to stand, Israel. But we're proclaiming that we're the people of Yah. Let our words not just be talk, Israel, but let us truly stand. We can do it, Israel, for Yah gave us everything we need to overcome, Israel. Everything. It's Torah, Israel. Matthew 5 and 18. For I truly say to you that the Hashemayim the Olam, a one jot, a one tilt, shall in no wise pass from his Torah, Israel. All this other stuff going to pass away. That false hope that these people relying on is going to let them down. But the Torah will stand the test of time to all be fulfilled. And Yahshua HaMashiach, just stand, Israel. Don't get weary. Just stand. Matthew 10 and 33. It said that whosoever shall deny me with children, with emotions, with the things of this life, with denying to speak the truth of the Torah, just to gain for their own gain, just to keep membership. He said, whoever shall deny me, I shall deny them before the Abba. Israel, we got to realize that these are not words just being spoken, but my almighty Abba Yahweh means of what he's speaking. And he wants his people to truly stand, to prove themselves of them being worthy, Israel. And we're going to go through the test. We're going to go through the fire, Israel. But we are coming out at pure gold. Matthew 10 and 34. It says, think not that I come to send shalom on the old lamb. I've come not to send shalom, but a sword to all those that deny his Torah, Yisrael, that walk not according that Yah has commanded them to walk, but walk in their own will, walk in their own way, Yisrael. For Yah has gave us a commandment. He has gave us his Torah to abide by, Yisrael. And that is what he wants us to do, Israel. It's not hard. It's only 
hard when sin abides, Israel. That's what makes us hard to walk. That's what makes us rebel, Israel. Help us tonight. Forgive me, Abba Yahweh. Forgive me. Matthew 10, 35. It says, for I come to set a man at variance. We don't believe that's Yah. But that is almighty Yah. For our thinking is not like Yah's thinking is Yah. See, we want to save everybody. But it's not going to be that way, Israel. Yah. Yah going to save his people. And it's not a people that our prayer is going to save. It's by Yah's choosing. So, so Israel, Yah, you just might as well leave that in the hands of Yah. For I'm come to set a variance. To cut, it, the, the definition is to cut into two parts against his father and the doubt against her mother. And that's y'all in control of all of that. And the doubt in law against her mother in law. And nothing that we can do call this y'all doing, Israel, y'all. All we can do is just save ourselves with the little immuna that we have, Israel, y'all. It's going to take that to keep us. It said, Matthew 10 and 36. It said, a man fold shall be they of his own household. But you can get the victory, Israel, if you just keep trusting in Yah's Torah. Don't let it cause you to be weary, Israel. Don't let it cause you to be doubt. Don't let it cause you to be double-minded. Because it said a double-minded person is unstable in all his ways, Israel. But to think on the mighty Torah of Yah. He said, who keep his mind steadfast on him? He would keep him perfect shalom, Israel. And in your trial. Do you think of him, Israel? Or do you think of the situation? As I came, your Romeo was telling us about how Yah told Peter to come. And because Peter took his eyes off Yah, he began to sing. Israel, keep your eyes on Abba Yahweh. Think of what he told us to do when we run into situations, to go to his Torah to get the victory, Israel. That's all we have to do. You will find the answer. It says, Kephar, 1 Peter 4 and 12. It tells us, beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened to you. But see, we do the latter part of that reading. We think it's something strange to try us, Israel, y'all. And it's all in the working of Abba Yahweh. For Israel, yeah. don't you know Abba Yahweh got to prove us? It ain't just we just say we know Abba Yahweh and his precious son. We got to be proved, Israel. Yeah. We got to be tried. Do you think about him, Israel? Yeah. Do you really think about what he done for us? And how he have made us a special people to stand in this perverted generation, Israel. Kephar, First Peter 4 and 13. For if you think about them, Israel, but rejoice in as much as you are partakers of how much she is suffering. It said, if you rejoice that when his honor shall be revealed, you may be glad. Also, with exceedingly joy. Do we have that exceedingly joy, Israel? Knowing of the suffering that we've been partaker of, Yahshua HaMashiach. What's holding us back, Israel? We don't think too much about Abba Yahweh, do we, Israel? 
Kephar 1. For he the mighty Abba that we serve. 4 and 14. And we have no worries. If you be reproached for the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. Happy are you. Yisrael. Happy are you. Rejoicing, Yisrael. Praising Yah for going through. Giving Yah the praise of him finding us worthy to go through for him, Yisrael. Praising him in the morning. Praising him in the evening. Praising him in the noonday. Praising him in the tabernacle. Yisrael. Not being ashamed. Not letting this flesh stop you from giving Almighty Yahweh the praise that's due unto him, Yisrael. Oh, Yisrael. We just think about how much this one loves Yisrael. How much he cares for us that he gave his very best. Oh, we will shout to the mountain top. We will shout unto the roof. Cause it's just for a little while longer, Israel. Just for a little while longer. And we can make it, Israel. Just trust in Yah's Torah. Just speak as Yah gave us to speak. Kephar. 1, 4, and 14. If you be reproached for the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, happy are you. For the Ruach of honor and of Yahweh rest upon you. And then on their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is exuded in Abba Yahweh. Yes, Israel. All we have to do is just let our mighty Yahweh, Yahweh fight our battle. Think on that mighty one that can move the mountain. We should have no fear, Israel. We should have no worries. Because Yah has everything in control. Whenever you think, you think that there is no hope. Just think on the almighty Yahweh, Yahweh. And think of his son, Yahshua HaMashiach. When it seems like there's no way out, don't try to work it out yourself. Don't even resort to the flesh. But go to almighty Abba Yahweh, Israel. Because we know of what this flesh would bring. We know the sin that we were in. And he brought us out, Israel. For we are no match for our adversary, high Satan. Turn to Philippians. It said, 4 and 6. It said, be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known to Abba Yahweh. We don't do too much of that, do we? Yes, we We don't do too much of letting Abba, Abba Yahweh know our faults, know our shortcomings. But we more so try to work out on ourselves. That's why we're not getting the victory. That's why we're not moving, Yisrael, in the place that Yah intend for us to move, Yisrael. Yisrael, we got to do like Yah commanded us to do. We got to be an obedient people, Yisrael. If you think of where he brought you from, Yisrael, and really think about it, Yisrael, you will let him be in control. 
Philippians 4 and 7 says, And the shalom of Abba Yahweh, which passes our understanding, yes. shall keep your leg, Yisrael, and your mind through Yahshua HaMashiach. But it got to be a transformed mind, Yisrael. It can't be that same mind that you had out there in the world, Yisrael. It can't be the thing of us thinking out there in the world, Yisrael. All the material thing, the lust of the eye and the flesh, the lust of the flesh and pride of life. But it got to be what Yahweh gave us. It got to be his Torah. He said he put that in our inward part, Yisrael. But Yisrael, we could be a people that Yah intended for us to be. And we just let him tear down this flesh of ours. Yisrael. Yeah. Mm. Philippians 4 and 8. Yisrael, your light, brothers, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, Whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are true, are tough report. If there be anything virtue, if there be anything praise, yes, yes. think on these things. Yes, Ray. What do we think of during the day, Yes, Ray? Do we think on those things, Israel? For we never know what we're going to encounter, Israel. But to think on those things, we'll be ready to give an answer according to Yah's Torah, Israel. It says Philippians 4 and 9. Those things which you have both learned and received, and heard and seen in me. Do, Israel, yeah. 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 Yahweh Shalom yeah. shall be with you. And we just think on Abba Yahweh, and do as he had commanded us to do, Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Because we cannot think with a double mind. We got to think with the mind of Yahshua, HaMashiach, for he showed us in him when he was tried and the devil came to tempt him, he showed us of the man that Yahshua HaMashiach had. And he spoke Torah, Yisrael, and the Torah gave him the victory over every circumstances, Yisrael. Why do you, why you think he said, let that man that be in Yahshua HaMashiach being us, Israel. Yah, he gave us everything that we need to be prepared to endure this battle until the end, Israel. Yaakov, James 1 and 5. If any of you like wisdom, Let him ask of our Yahweh. They give to all liberally and upbraid not. And it should be given to you, Israel. Why, Israel? Because Yah want to keep all those that are his. But as it just like he think of us from day to day. He wants us to think of him. He wants to talk with him. He wants to commune with him. Yisrael. Yaakov, James 1 and 6. Knowing. But let him ask in the Imuna. Not wavering. We know Almighty Abba Yah we serve. For he that waveth is like the wave of the sea, driven with the wind, 
and toss because of them not trusting in Abba Yahweh. Because of them trusting in their own will and their own strength. Yaakov, James 1 and 7. For let not man think that he shall receive nothing of Abba Yahweh. And then it goes to say in Jane, Jacob, Jane 1 and 8. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Why? Because Israel, he tried to serve Yah, and he's tried to serve the world too, Israel. And he said, if you're lukewarm, he's going to spew you out of his mouth, Israel. You either going to be for him or you going to be against him. And the judgment going to be against you, Israel. And we're going to be judged by the way we walk, by the way we talk, and by the way we proclaim that we're a child of Abba Yahweh. Although you think about them, Israel, you may not have this wisdom one. For love, Sadiqah, you that be judges of the old lamb, think of Yahweh with an honest lad. And in sincerity of love, seek him. Israel. And when he says seek him, you got to give him your whole life, nephesh, and mind, Israel. Not just speaking words, but it got to be with a harmonious Israel. He said he knitted old with a broken leg and a contract reward. And he seek to save such as Israel. Oh, do you think about the love that he have for you? Wisdom one and two. For he will be found of them that tempt him not. And shows himself to such as do not trust him. Oh, we trust you tonight, Abba Yahweh. We believe in your Torah. The word that you give us, your Dabah. We know that it keep us in the path that you will have us to go. Direct our steps. Transform us and forgive us, Abba Yahweh, of our transgression. For I know we come short, but by your heart seed, your tender mercies, and your love kindness, you have gave us another chance. Wisdom one and three, for forward and perverse thoughts separate you from Abba Yahweh. It turns you away from his Torah, Yisrael. How do we get back? We sue, we turn, and come back up to him and repent, Yisrael. Let's not be ashamed of the Abba Yisrael. Or when we be out there in the world, or when we be around our families, or when it comes time for us to let one know of the mighty one that we're standing for, let us not be ashamed, Israel. Let us not be ashamed. For if you think about what he did for you, Israel, it ain't no problem for you to let the world know of the one that you serve, Israel. Yeah. A forward and perverse thought separate you from Yahweh and his power. When it is tried, it reproves and convict the unwise. And I am unwise, Abba Yahweh. Only in your Torah, your, your Dabah, that I get wisdom and understanding. For into a malicious, malicious wisdom one and four, into a malicious nephish, wisdom shall not enter. Yes, yes. Yeah. Into a wicked heart, his dabah will not enter. 
For this vine got to be transformed. Israel, y'all. Shall not enter nor dwell in the body that is enslaved into sin. Israel, y'all. For judge us tonight, Israel, y'all. Judge me. Uproot everything that's not of your Torah. Wisdom 1 and 5 say, For the Kodush and the discipline, Ruach will flee from the sea and depart from foolishness. Thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide in unrighteousness when it comes in, the, when it come in words. For Yahweh is witness of his inmost feelings, a true observer of his heart. And a hearer of his tongue. And Israel is telling us that when we run into a situation like that, and we're not going to speak Yah's truth, I stand for Yah's truth, it's better to flee, Israel. Because one thing, Israel, if you don't speak Yah's truth and they speak the wickedness of their mind, it's going to either overcome you or you're going to be talking the same way they talk, Israel, y'all. The words say, what fellowship with light and darkness, Israel, y'all? We got to stand on what y'all have commanded us to stand on, Israel, y'all. And not only stand, we got to not be ashamed to speak it. Thinking of the one, the mighty one, that made us a special people unto him. He don't want us to be fearful, Israel, y'all. But he wants to stand with boldness, Israel, y'all. Letting this world know that he have a people that's going to fulfill his Torah. He have a people that's going to truly speak his truth. Not being afraid and lead us in the right way to go. Seeing that so many Sutos is speaking just for to look our gain for fellowship, but he have a people that truly love him as much as he loved them, Israel, y'all, and going to stand no matter what we have to go through, no matter if it take losing or killing this old flesh, they're going to stand, Israel, y'all, because they have thought of the mighty Abba Yahweh and that precious sin that he pulled them out of and gave his very best, his son, Yahshua Hamashiach, Israel, y'all. Oh, we're going to make it, Israel, y'all. We're going to be all right. Just don't, th- just don't stop thinking of mighty, our mighty Yahweh and his precious son. Hallelujah, hallelujah. For the Ruach of our Yahweh filled the world. That which holds all together knows what it said. And we know it is only our Yahweh that is in control. Of all things, Israel. To Helium, Psalm 52 and 2. It said, Your tongue devises, think, images, and vent. Mischief, like a sharp razor, working deceitful. If it's not speaking, Yah's Torah. If we're not walking in Yah's Torah. If y'all's Torah is not abiding in our life, we got to be very careful, Israel, y'all. Very careful. It says in Tehillim, Psalm 1 and 19, verse 59. I thought, think, Consider on my ways. To Psalm 119, 59. And turn my feet to your testimonies. We see Israel. To Psalm 119, verse 59. Turn my feet to your testimonies. We see Israel. We try to bypass. Abba Yahweh's word, instead of going to his word to get the victory. 
We have the testimony of Yahshua HaMashiach. Is it real in us, Yisrael? Do we stand on that, Yisrael? Are we just speaking words? Because time is getting too short, Yisrael. And are we the few people that he elected? We need to let that testimony be real within our lives, Yisrael. No more, compromise, no more compromising, Israel. For the hour that we serve and the hour that we're thinking upon you, when he come, he's come with vengeance. And the word we speak is going to be a judgment against us, Israel. So let us stand in Yah's Torah that he put in our lives, Israel. To heed him, Psalm 119 and 60 said, I made haste. Do we make haste to get to the house of Yah, to get his mighty name to pray, to lift him up, to hear the word that comes from the messenger, knowing to strengthen us and to keep us in, the journey, in this journey that we're on? Do we make haste, Israel? Or do we come in the haste that we be thinking about at the time of when service is over? If that's what we think about, Israel, it said make haste. And we should want to make haste to get to Yah's house, Israel, to give Yah's the praise and lift them up. For he has kept us all that day in our right mind. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, he is worthy, Israel. I told you, Yah. And it says, delay not to keep your commandments. And he gave us a commandment to keep. And he intends for us to do just that, Yisrael. With no hesitation, Yisrael. Not us just keeping one or two of his commandments. But he means for us to keep it all, Yisrael. And that we would do. All oh, his more dim is coming up soon. Told her, Yah, and we would do as he commanded. Everyone, we would keep Israel. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, I told her, Yah. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten your Torah. Is that the way we think, Israel? When the enemy come upon us, Israel? Through his Torah in our mind, that we let the enemy know of who we're standing for, or do we back down? Do we get fearful? Oh, help us, Israel. Matthew, Matthew 6 and 6. For oh, precious Abba Yahweh, totally Yah. Matthew 6 and 6. But you, when you pray, enter into your closet. And when you have shut the door, pray to your Abba, which is in secret. And your Abba, which sees in secret, shall reward you openly, Israel. Just give it all to him. No matter what the situation, Israel. No matter what you're going through. Just give it to him. Just let him have it. No matter how the enemy come against you, you just don't say nothing. Just give it to Yah. It says, stand still and see the salvation of Yah. And he will come in, Israel. He will come in. Just don't ever lose them out of your thought, Israel. Matthew 6 and 7. But when you pray, use not vain repetition. Help me, Abba Yahweh, to pray the right way. As the heathen do. For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. And that they do, Israel. For they speak, they speak 
is to honor them, to give this flesh the praise. But we speak to honor Abba Yahweh and his precious son, Yahshua HaMashiach. That's where our praise goes unto us. For we know that we can do nothing of our own, Israel. It is all by him. It says Matthew 6 and 8. Be not you therefore like them, Israel. For your Abba knows what things you have need of before we even ask, Israel. What a mighty Abba that we would want to think of, that we don't have to do nothing, but just walk as he commanded us to do, and just think to give his name to praise every time we awake, every moment that we come into his body, Israel. He want that, Israel. For us, if you're going through something, Israel, he will bring shalom unto you that day, Israel. He will bring a healing unto your body that day, Israel. Oh, Israel. Let us not think of the mighty Abba Yahweh and his son, Yahshua HaMashiach, and what he done for his special people that he have elected. It said, Kephah, 2 Peter 1 and 12. Oh, we will like you tonight, Abba Yahweh. That we have a mighty Abba that we can think of and call on, and he'll be right there. Second Peter 1 and 12. It says, Well, for I will not be negligent, negligent to put you always in remembrance. Recall to mind or think of these things. Though you know them and be established in the presence of Yah's Emit, Yisrael, Yah. Kephah, Second Peter says, 1 and 13, Yes, I think it, as long as I have in the earthly tent to stir you up by putting you in remembrance. What is remembrance? To recall to mind, to think of the mighty one that made us a special people unto him. Kephah too, knowing that surely I will put off this earthly tent, this renewed and have a renewed mind, even as our Yahshua HaMashiach has shown me the way of how to do it, Israel, Yah. Through trusting in Yah's Torah, abiding in Yah's Torah, walking and living Yah's Torah. Our mind could be transformed into the mind of Yahshua HaMashiach. That's the only way that we're going to make it, Yisrael. We're not going to make it with still this carnal mind that pleases this flesh. It got to be transformed. So, Kephah, 2 Peter 1 and 15. Moreover, I will endeavor that you may be able, after my decease, to have these things always in remembrance, recall to mind and think of what Yahshua HaMashiach went through for us, Israel. There's no comparison to the little thing that we go through, Israel. And, it, and, and we can and do it, Israel. Uh, we just think on the things that are tough. Think on the things that are pure, Israel. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, totally, yeah. That Yah give us everything that we need to combat our enemy, how Satan. And we just believe and trust in Yah's Torah. Look at Tehidium Psalms 8 and 4. It says, what is man that Yah visit us? We have to be 
a special people unto him, that he visits every day. And as we lay down at night as a dead man, he said, awaken in the morning. A special people unto Abba Yahweh. To make a memorial in your mind, Israel, of him. Is he a more in your mind, Israel, and the son of man that you visit? Him, Israel, and he visits every day. In our everyday walk, he visits us, Israel. Not only do he visit us, he tries us to see if we're going to stand. As he have called us, Yisrael. Are we going to speak where he has commanded us to speak? His Torah, Yisrael. For Yisrael, Yah is calling Yisrael to stand. For we see the enemy has their tongue, and we see the ones that he got, how they're standing. But we just think of the mighty love that our Yahweh has for us. We have the boldness of a lion, Israel. Yes, we will, Israel. That light will shine bright, and they won't see no dimness in it. Kephi 2, Peter 1 and 15. Moreover, I will endeavor that you may be able Turn to Tehidim 105, verse 1. It said, O oh, give thanks to Abba Yahweh. Call upon his mighty name for knowing of what he's done for you. Make known his deeds among the people, Israel. As we go out tomorrow, the people will see a difference in us, Israel. Why? Because we have been bought with a price of Yahshua HaMashiach. To Helium Psalm 105 and 2 says, Sing to him of a loud voice, Israel. Not being ashamed. Not letting this flesh bind you down, but lifting up his mighty name. It says, sing songs, psalms to him. Talk you of all his wondrous works. What else do we have to talk about, Israel? What other conversation should our conversation be, but only about Abba Yahweh, the one that we know? They gave us eternal life. It said, Psalm 105 and 3. Hallelujah to his Kodash name. Let the lab of them rejoice that seek Abba Yahweh. It said, Hallelujah to his Kodash name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek him. You know why I said it the second time, Israel, Yah, because Yah really want us to get into the habit of truly lifting our voice unto Him. I know we speak, but if we really think about what He did for us and what He gave, the voice would be like a thunder, Israel. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. To hear them, Psalm 105 and 5 says, Think, remember his marvelous works that he has done, 
his wonders, and the judgment of his mouth. Tell them Psalm 105 and 6 say, O oh, you seed of Abraham, his servant, you children of Yaakov, his chosen one, one that he have handpicked and call you his people. To Helium, Psalm 105 and 7 said, He is Abba Yahweh, and his judgments are in all the old land. And that it is. To Helium 1 and 5, 105 and 8 said, He has remembered, he thinks on his covenant with his people, Israel. And his covenant is forever, Israel. A promise he has made to Israel. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations, Israel. Turn to Helium 1 and 19 and 52. For he is a great comfort to his people, Israel. To Eden 119 and 52. I remember your judgment of old Israel. O Yahweh, I have comforted myself in your Torah, Israel. For we could not comfort ourselves, but only in Yah's Torah. We get our shalom, Yisrael. But he's coming back for those that think about him. It said, to Helium Psalm 143 and 5, I remember. Oh, Abba Yahweh, help me to remember of where you bought me from. The day the bowl, I meditate. Do we do much meditating in Israel? On all your works. I must, on the works of hands, Abba Yahweh, of your mighty hands, I think of Abba Yahweh, of the mighty hands that pulled me out of that sin. The mighty hand that's leading me and guide me on this path of when I go astray, bring me back to the right way and tell me to go on and walk in that straight and narrow path. For I'll repent unto you, Abba Yahweh. For those the hands I want to keep a hold on to, Israel. Just like as Peter was sinking and as Peter hollered, immediately he reached out that hand. That's the way I want his hand to be unto me. When I drift away from his Torah, immediately I want to call unto him and he reaches his hand unto me. Oh, Abba Yahweh. I want you to always be forever present on my mind. Let's turn to Debim, Deuteronomy 9 and 7. For that is the one we need to think on, Israel. For that is our help. No other help I know. It said, remember and forget not how you provoke Yahweh your Abba to wrath in the wilderness. Let us not provoke Abba Yahweh to wrath, but let us turn. Let us repent. Let us let this thou by tear this fleshly man down and be transformed. From the day while we have a chance and while we, he still can be found, Israel. From the day that you did depart out of the land of Egypt until you came to this place, you have been rebellious against Abba Yahweh. Oh, help us, Abba Yahweh. I repent, Abba Yahweh. Let us, Shema, let us hear 
as the messenger speak this word, Israel, that we turn, that we let y'all tear this fleshly man down, that it be no more, that it be transformed into that man of Yahshua HaMashiach, that I will be to do everything I walk, I talk, be to please him. Yes, right, y'all. And forget not how you provoke Yahweh, Yahweh, to wrath in the wilderness from the day you shall depart out of the land of Egypt. Until you came to this place, you have been turned to Ephesians, Ephesians 3 and 20. For this is me. For me tonight, Abba Yahweh. Now to him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all things, we ask our thing according to the power that works in us of the Torah that he gave us as a guideline to endure this race until the end, Israel. Let us be obedient, Israel, and walk according to Yah. Ephesians, Ephesians three and twenty-one says, "To him be honor and splendor in the congregation by Yahshua Hamashiach throughout all ages, Israel, world without end." So it is. So be it, may it be fulfilled. And Yahshua HaMashiach. Yes, right, yeah. For Yah can do more than we think, yes, right, yeah. And we just let him. And we just think on him, yes, right, yeah. And think on his mighty works, yes, right, yeah. For Yah is able to do all things. Yes, we do. And he want us to think on him. He want us to call upon him, Yisrael. He want us to commune with him, Yisrael. To keep our mind on the things of Yah. That our minds don't be drifted away. He said, I love mine. Is the devil workshop, Israel? Yeah. But to think on y'all's Torah, there's Shalom, Israel. Yeah. What a mighty Abba we serve. Yeah. Oh, and what the love he showed us through his son, Yeshua, Hamashiach. So, Israel, if I would leave with us tonight, don't let our thoughts be the world of this life. But let us trust in Yah Daba and his Torah. That whatever may be happening in this old land, let us know that the one that gave us a life, he's in control of everything. And that's for surety, Israel. That's the truth. That's his admit. Yisrael, yeah. so don't be weary. Don't walk around with a cast down head, but hold it up and look to the high Shemaya and talk to the one that made the high Shemaya. Yisrael, yeah. in any situation, think on him, for we can get the victory. For he will fight our battles. Who come against us? Or what may try to tear us down? We got one that can lift us up. Israel, stand steadfast. Unmovable. In the imuna of Abba Yahweh. Let us stand to our feet, Israel. Abba Yahweh, we will rock you tonight, Abba Yahweh. 
And as we leave this place, Abba Yahweh, let it you forever be present on our mind. Take, take the cane and it is all down the road safe and sound. Keep your melody Kim all around him, Abba Yahweh. As well as the Hope Jennifer and Hope Blunt. Keep us, Abba Yahweh. We lay up on our beds tonight, Abba Yahweh. And if it's your will, for we know it's not by our own doing. If it's your will, we'll wake in the morning. When we we'll awake, let us not fail to give your name the praise. And as we go tomorrow, you forever be present on our mind to keep us as the condition of Abba Yahweh. To walk and to talk and to see, to let them see that they are different in us, Abba Yahweh. And if one may ask about it, Abba Yahweh, give us the right words to let them know about this great Abba Yahweh that we serve and knowing of what he did for us. To give his very best, Abba Yahweh. Oh, precious Abba Yahweh, we rock you tonight, Abba Yahweh. We told you for your word, Abba Yahweh. All that you have spoken from this pulpit, Abba Yahweh. And your word that you can continually speak, Abba Yahweh. To keep Israel, Abba Yahweh. To stand and to endure this little time that we're on, this old lamb, Abba Yahweh. And your precious son, Yahshua HaMashiach, I pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs>